Hello and welcome to this overview of the NewTek TriCaster Advanced Edition. TriCaster Advanced Edition is an upgrade package that enhances your workflow with a set of features that not only increases your capabilities, but also improves your production quality. It can be added to any TriCaster professional line model, from TriCaster Mini to TriCaster 8000. Let's start by looking at some of the new layering effects. The Mix Effects buses inside of the TriCaster already allow you to do a lot of compositing, but the Advanced Edition adds even more capabilities. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Using one of the keyers inside of an ME, we're going to go ahead and add a bug. Now if we zoom in and out on this ME, it's locked to the frame exactly like we would expect it to be. But the Advanced Edition gives us more capabilities, including augmented reality. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom all the way out and turn on augmented reality and then position this logo onto the front of the desk. Now with augmented reality turned on, this logo becomes locked to the virtual set instead of being locked to the frame. And now you can see as we're zooming in and out that we're locked right to the desk. I can even go in here and we can zoom in and pan around and you can see that that overlay now has become part of the virtual set. So now adding a logo or some branding to any part of a virtual set and locking it down is possible using the Advanced Edition. Now we can take this even further. Let's add another person to the set. We'll bring in Kiki through keyer number four here and I'll show you that we have augmented reality, engaged, and a little bit of parallax. And Parallax allows us to put her out in 3D space in front of everything else. Let me show you what I mean. We'll go ahead and zoom in on her. And as we zoom in on her, she's moving at a slightly different rate as the rest of the background. You can see as I start to pan her around that she's moving at a different rate than the background. And it really looks like she's in the foreground in 3D space. So by using this sort of a setup, we can now zoom past her to the talent behind the desk. Again, we can come back out to both of them or come all the way back out to our wide shot. And we've literally added another person to our virtual environment using the augmented reality that comes with the advanced edition. Another addition to the keyers are soft edges, full color borders, and drop shadows. Let's take a look. So I'm going to bring up DSK1 and let's go into the positioner and we now have edges and we can very easily add nice soft edges on any of these overlays. We can also add borders and borders can be something uh, like what you see here, this film strip border, this frame, a uh, nice graphic border, or it could be something as simple as just a drop shadow and a standard border. And we come with a wide variety of borders to choose from, but you can also make your own in Photoshop. And once they get applied, they become part of that overlay. Any adjustments or changes you make to the overlay also are made to the borders. And of course, they also work with the transitions on and off the screen. There are also new enhancements that let you perform editing functions in the media players. Now we've always had autoplay and autoplay is great. It automatically queues up and pre-rolls all of your clips for you. Simply put your clips into a media player, transition to it and they play back. Now these are playing back with cuts in between each one of the clips, which is how the standard edition of the TriCaster works. Now if you wanted to do say dissolves or even DVEs in between these clips, in the standard edition of the TriCaster, you would have to separate these clips into different media players and then use the production switcher to switch between those clips. But the advanced edition allows you to add those transitions right inside of the media player itself. Now we'll transition to that media player and we'll see those clips playing back with fades in between them. And that's all happening directly from the media player itself. It's not using the main production switcher at all to be able to accommodate this. Now this automatically put fades in between all the clips for me, but you also can use any of the effects in the TriCaster. You can click on any of those, pick whatever effect you want to use, and you're now ready to roll that again with the new effect in place. It's really giving you some pretty major editing capabilities right inside of the media player in the advanced edition of TriCaster. 
I'm going to go ahead and clear out the media that I currently have in here and let's load up a new clip to work with. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this clip. I'll just auto play to it. Got a guy on a flyboard and he's zooming around. Looks really cool. What I want to do is I want to use some of my new context menu features here to create a nice little edit out of this. So first of all, I'm going to fly the guy on the board here till he's about to come out of the water. So I'm going to get his head just popping just about right there. He's coming up out of the water. And what I can do now is I can split this clip right where I have the scrubber. So now I have two clips split right where I was on the first clip. This clip is going to play at 100% speed, but now, again, with a right context menu, I can do individual speeds on each clip. So I'll say I want this clip to play at 50% speed. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. So he dives in at full speed, and when he comes out, he's at slow motion, looks great. The slow motion quality has also been enhanced in the advanced edition. And now with these new editing capabilities right inside the media players, you have a whole lot more power. These new features in the media players literally turn them into little nonlinear editors, allowing you to edit pieces together inside of the live production environment instead of having to exit out to use a nonlinear editor. Now, let's take a look at some of the new enhanced graphics capabilities. So we're now going to take our little edited sequence here from the media player and we're going to incorporate that into one of our virtual set effects here, a little double box effect. And let's go ahead and start that playing. Now what I really want to have is a title down here that describes each one of these clips. Now if you right click on any clip inside of a media player, go to properties, you'll see that there's some information. There's a display name and comment. And this information can be used to drive graphics through data link. I'll go ahead and bring up our overlay and you'll see that it's actually being driven by the name of each clip and we're using one title template that's being updated in real time by Datalink again using the name of the clip that's part of the information inside of the clip. Now there are several different things that you can do with Datalink. Another example would be to bring in something like time and date and this is all generated from the system clock. Again, it's external data that's coming in and dynamically populating and generating your graphics for you in real time. Now we do a lot of live streaming around here and I've always wanted an easy way to let people know when that stream is going to start. Well now we can do that with Datalink. So let's go ahead and bring up our title template and this title template is waiting for information from our production clock. Go ahead and start our production clock and you'll see that it instantly grabs the information from our production clock. It knows when the show is going to start and it's able to display that information, making all of our viewers aware of when the live webcast is going to begin. But it gets even better because you can also send text and images from an external computer into a TriCaster title template from a Google Chrome web browser. Let's take a look. So as you can see, we have a web page here showing some tweets and we want to be able to use the information from these tweets during our live production. Well, we have a title template set up to do exactly that. And you can see on the title template that there's an area for the picture and then the name of the tweeter and then the body of the tweet itself. Now we can use the information externally from this web page to update that graphic. I'm simply going to right click on the image from the tweet and send it to the tweet pick. And you can see that the updated image is now part of our graphic. I can update who the tweeter currently is by sending this to the tweet name. And then again, we can select the body of the message and send that just as easily. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what this might look like over an actual live video feed. And you can see incorporating your tweets or really any sort of text or imagery from uh, a Chrome browser is now just a mouse click away using the new advanced edition. Instant Replay, of course, is popular for live sports production. TriCaster Advanced Edition now gives you a very simple way to control an instant replay right in the TriCaster interface. So we have footage coming in on input number one and let's go ahead and start recording and we're going to let the recording go for a while and as soon as we see something that we like like that right there we can hit this button 
and it puts our instant replay down in here in DDR1. To see the instant replay, simply click on this button. You'll get a transition in, plays it back at whatever speed you have it preset. I selected 50% for a clip length of five seconds and then automatically brings us right back out with a separate transition back to the live video. This is all an automatic process and a click of a button. A simplified streaming panel now lets you stream to multiple destinations from a single TriCaster system. You can easily select your streaming destinations and now stream in up to full 1080p resolution. LinkedIn has been added to the social media destinations and social media connections can be configured faster now because instead of having to exit out of the live production environment, it can be done while in a live session. Traditionally, loading media for use in your live production in a TriCaster was done in the sessions page outside of the live environment. But very often, once you start your live production, content may become available that you want to use and you need to be able to get it into the system. Well, the TriCaster Advanced Edition makes this possible with the media importer built right into the live production area. Simply select Import Media, then you can add any media that you want to bring in. You can start importing that media and close it down and all of your media is imported in the background, allowing you to continue with your live production. Now, one of my favorite new features in the Advanced Edition is the ability for me to automatically fix my mistakes. What I mean by that is, you may be in the middle of a live production at some point and make a mistake on the switcher and inadvertently push buttons while you're reaching for your cup of coffee or any number of things can happen. TriCaster Advanced Edition has an undo allowing me to fix my mistake and continue with my live production. The Advanced Edition of the TriCaster actually makes your TriCaster smarter with features like SDI Auto Detect and this will automatically detect the resolution of an SDI signal, making it plug and play. And there are even more fully configurable outputs available, giving you more flexibility during your live production. These are just a few of the many features included with the TriCaster Advanced Edition. For more information, please check out our website at newtech.com or talk to your local reseller.